GPT for GPD. The name says it all, they must go together. In this video, I tell you how to one-click install and run your personal AI-powered chatbot on any handheld device running Windows or Linux. You have probably heard and played around with ChatGPT, the latest technology in AI chatbots based on large language models. I have used this tool myself and the answers I got were pretty good and they helped me quite a lot during programming. The disadvantages of OpenAI's chatbot however are that it's a closed product and that it always runs on their cloud. That means that there is always an internet connection required to have access to the service and that it's not suitable for sensitive data as you're giving away all your data to their cloud. Also, a sign-in is required to test ChatGPT, so you have to give them your email address and your phone number. The results you get are pretty good, there's no doubt about this, and today it's one of the best AI bots we have. The name of the company, however, has become a bloody joke as OpenAI's latest GPT-4 is the most closed GPT solution we have. There are other large language models out there and one of the best and biggest open source models is Llama from Meta, which is under the GPL license and has a non-commercial clause to it. Many models build on that one and fine-tune it and the results can run on your local machine using the CPU and not too much ROM so you can run it on any handheld computer. They even run some of those models on Raspberry Pis. However, the license of the original Llama is not ideal as everything that builds on it must inherit the GPL license and is not allowed to be used commercially. To tackle those issues, a new community has arised to build a new large language model completely open from the ground up. I will leave a link in the description to an interview with one of the founders. The video is super informative, it's quite long, but it's very inspiring and for me it was the reason to jump onto the AI hype train, at least a little bit. The results of this are quite good for something that has been built from the ground up and has released just a few weeks ago. However, I would not recommend you to rely on this by any means as the answers are rather a miss than a hit. I will now finally show you how to one-click install your personal AI chatbot on your handheld device or any other computer you own. I have tested this on Windows and on Arch Linux, so in theory this should run on the Steam Deck. I am running this on my GPD WinMax 2, which has the AMD 6800U processor and 16GB of ROM. To reach the installer, all you need to do is to open your favorite search engine and search for GPT for all. Then go to the gptforall.io website. I leave the link for this website and for the GitHub of the project in the video description. Now once you are in the website, the worst part is basically done and that is finding the installer. Now just choose your installer. If you can, choose the upper one. Usually that's the right one. Go to download, save this, hit yes, wait for the download to finish and start the executable. This here says, that's, this here says Ubuntu installer but it works fine for me on my Arch Linux system. Well, not 100%. The automatic download doesn't work, so I have to manually download the models, but that is absolutely no problem. I will show you that in just a moment. 
So now let's hit the installer, click more info, run anyway, wait for this to open, finish the setup, install, click next, accept the license, and hit next and install and now it's downloading. I cancel the download as I basically have this done already. Keep it going and hit finish. So let's start this. Once the installation has finished, it will place a GPT for all on your desktop, but you can also type this in your start menu and start it from there. And this is what you will get. Up here, you can select all the AI language models which are installed. You won't have one, so you click this icon here and select download new model. And here you have the overview of all the models that you can automatically download. The first one the GPT for all J1.3 is the best commercially licensable model. That's the model which I told you about before, which they made totally up from scratch and which you can use for anything. This is not the best one. So the best one, which is also trained from the same guys, that's the GPT for all 13B Snoozy. It's based on the meta data from that Llama model. But as you can see, that one is 7.58 gigabytes and that one is 3.5 gigabytes. And this is basically the main thing you have to look at. The 13B are the bigger ones which will lead to better results but which will need much more resources. So for your handheld computers I recommend the smaller ones but you can also run the bigger ones. I have tested the Vicuna 13B. That one is also trained on the Llama data and is quite good. So just test them. I would recommend the ones I have uh, installed, which is the Vicuna and that one, the Groovy and the Snoozy. So let's give it a test. This should be much faster. I have no idea why it's so slow right now. So if you click the wireless icon here, you can opt in so that you send them your data and this is anonymous but if you want to have an ID you can enter your some kind of username here and if you do that you can give a feedback so that was the right answer. If the answer is wrong hit the thumbs down button and that allows you to provide the correct answer. So I did that for multiple times already. So you can directly help to improve this program by inputting some stuff and when you're not satisfied, just hit the thumbs down button and if you like, you can provide them feedback and they, they will put that feedback into their data pool. That is absolutely not required and if you turn off the Wi-Fi, this thing will run completely locally and offline on, on your computer. You do not have to opt in. If you don't opt in, no data will be sent to the developers. Now I'll show you how to manually download the AI models. Just open their website and scroll down a little bit. And there we are. And here is the model explorer. That's the one I just used. 
So here you have the drop down and you can select the one you would like to download. Hit the download button and just download it wherever you want. Well, not really wherever you want because when you start the program again, I've closed it um, and hit the, the download new models. You can see the download path here and that is where you want to put your models into. That is for me the SD card and that's how this folder will look like. Just dump them in there and once the correct folder is selected, the models will appear here. Another thing I want to show you is the GPT for all Discord server. If we have a look, the chat is super active and it's always nice to just browse through the chat. I have no idea about most of the things they are talking about, but it sounds super exciting and these guys are working very hard and very enthusiastic to bring this further and further. This thing is really early, early in development and I encourage you just to try it out, to have a little bit of fun with it, to test the Vicuna model, to test the uh, Snoothie model, which is based on the same data set, and to try the brand new Groovy model, which is absolutely open, royalty free, you can do whatever you want. And sure, the results are not as brilliant, but this is something which I'm really excited about because I can run this on my local machine. I am not tied to any online service and I'm a huge fan of open source in general. I will link to that chat.lmsys org as well. And here you have all those alternative uh, GPT AI models. And what you get is basically the same what you get from the chat GPT interface. So you get an online chat. You can select your model here. I prefer the Vicuna because that one is pretty good, I'd say, compared to the rest. And here you can enter it. It's faster if you enter it in that prompt than executing it on a weak machine like the GPD WinMax 2. It's not a weak machine, but for AI standards it might be. So let's try this. So you can see the prompt was pretty quick. I, in this case, even the GPT for all, which we have tried locally, did the job better in my opinion. So it's really a matter of trial and error, choose the different models, try them out. So the one I have showed you here is downloadable via the installer. So you can run exactly this model on your local machine. Just have fun and try them out. It's really great to have those bleeding edge technologies locally available in your pocket or in your hands if you have a bigger handheld. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you got a little bit curious about this new AI bot that you can run on basically any hardware. It's super easy, just try it out. It's fun to have such a technology right in your hands. I won't make any predictions if I make a follow-up video on that topic or not, but I personally will follow this project closely because I find it super exciting and in my opinion it's important to keep track with this new technology. I also plan to educate myself a little bit so that I know at least the very basics of this whole AI topic and the technology won't outpace me. Now with some intelligence added to it this becomes a true friend. See you next time. Bye bye.